welcome back to my channel. It's Josie Janae. So I know I've been gone for a while, but I wanted to discuss that and let y'all know where my channel will be going if anybody is watching. Um, so as we all know, there's a food shortage in the world. So there's a food shortage in the world. And if you go to the store, there's a lot of stuff that's not there anymore or that is going to take a long time to ship. And we need to be thinking about these things. I don't say panic or anything like that. And I myself am not panicking either. However, I've been trying to do gardening for the last about year or two. And I really like it. It's something I really want to do. And I've always wanted to have like at least a couple of acres of land so that I can have a garden and I can have chickens for eggs and stuff like that. Because it's something I really want to do and really want to be able to provide for my family. And also not have to depend on the stores as much. Of course, I'm not going out right now buying two acres of land and buying all these seeds and buying all the animals I can. Um, but I want to just document how I'm transitioning into that and my steps to doing that. As of right now, I live in a house in a neighborhood. I can't have chickens. I can't have anything like that. The only thing I can have is a garden. Um, I could have rabbits, but I personally don't like that. So I'm just sticking with my small garden in my backyard. So what I've done to try to help prepare for these types of things is, for one, anytime I go to the store, um, if I'm buying like something that's shelf stable for a long time, I will always try to double up on it. So just in case, if it goes out or something, I will have it. Um, like green beans, corn, carrots, canned vegetables like that kind of stuff, just because you never know. And as of right now, Last year, I wasn't able to do a garden because I have, was in the process of moving here. Um, so I wasn't able to store a bunch of stuff like I wanted to. But this coming up summer, I plan on doing lots of tomatoes and peppers and stuff like that. So I can make like tomato sauce, tomato paste and um, spaghetti sauce and pizza sauce and stuff like that. And of course, other things, salsa and, you know, store some green beans and things just so that I can have it in my house just in case anything goes wrong and of course I don't just hoard items or anything I call I guess it's called like a working pantry I will <clears throat> try to use everything you know and rotate everything but keep on trying my best to restock stuff and things of that sort um and I know that you have to put up a lot for the winter because in the winter you're not going to be producing like the tomatoes and stuff so you have to be sure that you have enough on your shelf in order to have um, enough for the winter time um, another thing that i've done is so far i only have one garden bed out in my backyard um, just because it was something i threw up fast so i could have it for this winter and start growing something and so um, at my old house i had three raised garden beds and at this one i'm gonna do something a little bit different i have it this is what I'm looking at. I have it right here. And um, so these will be two separate beds. And then I would really like a long one going like that. And then the walkways, of course. And then an arch trellis. But I don't know if we will be able to do it like that. Just because I think this one will be pretty long. But we're going to try and see what we can come up with. Um, and then back here I will have like a cattle panel with T-posts for like a trellis for like tomatoes and stuff like that. Um, so I think that's a really good plan and a really good start that anybody could do. You can, you know, do the layout of your garden how you want it. Um, because, you know, you do need to make it the way you want. So you will want to go in there. Another thing I've done is since this will be my first year, like having a bigger garden, like with this size. Um, I'm looking at my notes down here. I have um, one side that's next to my fence so it's shaded a little bit so i've been looking up online and on youtube and trying to see different things that i could plant in the shade because i don't want to not use that space but that's the side of the house that i would really like my garden to be on just because we plan on getting a shed and um, maybe a little play set for the kids as well so i looked at different things that you can plant in the shade so I'm not worried about that part anymore and I wrote it down so I can be sure to get the seeds and stuff like that that I need to be able to plant over there. Um, and then I also wrote down a list of all the stuff that I'm going to need um, for the spring, summer, um, 
garden. And it's just stuff like I really want to stock up on mason jars and I've been already stocking up on them just so I can have them to store my food in because I don't have a ton of freezer space. Like I have just my regular freezer and then I also have um, a deep freezer. However, it's already pretty full with just, you know, other things and stuff. So I'm really trying just to can stuff because I will always have a place to store that stuff. Um, so I'm looking for like quart sizes and pints and things like that. And then I also will, obviously I'm making new beds, so I'm going to need the wood for them and the soil and the compost. Um, I have not yet started my own comp composting pile just because I've never done it before. And I want to just start off doing my garden first. Hopefully, like next year, like in the spring, I will be able to start that because I know there's a really big benefit. And then also to save on cost with buying like compost from the store or something like that. Um, and then also, of course, we'll need, like, I want some more different seeds. I have a good amount of seeds, but I want to focus more on, like, preserving my food and stuff like that. So, I need to get more Roma tomatoes so that, because those are easier for the sauces and things like that that I'm wanting to do. Um, also, cattle panels, because that's what you can use for a cheap way to have a trellis for like your tomatoes and things like that. And also I'm wanting a arch. So that's another affordable way to have an arch so I can have all my green beans and stuff like that going up it, um, just so it can be a little bit more appealing to the eye and also make it easier for me to be able to grab stuff off of it. Um, another thing is mulch and straw because it helps retain moisture and you know helps the garden soil and things of that sort and helps you know have weeds not come up as much. Um, so that's just a small list as of right now that I have things that I need. And then I also have a list of things I want to plant. So I think in the, um, uh, summertime, it's really good to have like a list of things that you want to plant, um, and what you want to focus on for the upcoming season. Uh, I know we have plenty of time, but it's never too early to start planting and to make sure you have all your seeds together because before you know it, you know, Christmas will be coming and everything else. So you want to be able to be prepared for these things. So some things that I want to focus on for this coming up season is tomatoes. Of course, I've talked about that many times. And I don't like spicy, so I really don't care for jalapenos. But there is a, a non-spicy jalapeno. It's called non-jalapenos. And it's not as bad, I'm, I'm hearing. So I want to grow those so I can put those in my salsa. And I might grow a few jalapenos just for my husband so he can have the spicy salsa but that's just really not um something that I care for but I really want to do the jalapenos because if it still tastes like jalapenos but without so much spice then I think we all will like that here and I wasn't able to put garlic or onions down for the winter so I'm going to try that um the next season and then I use garlic and onions a lot in almost everything I cook. And then I also want to do green beans. We eat a lot of green beans, and I want to be able to can as much as I can of those so I don't have to rely on the store to get them canned. Um, and then carrots, of course, and peppers. We eat a lot of just like bell peppers, red pe peppers, and things like that. Uh, also, another thing that I did was get this book. This is from Roots and Refuge Farm. Um, Jessica is her name. And she made this book and for first-time gardeners, and thanks to help you. Um, I've been putting little tabs here for things, you know, and I write down the tabs, like what it is that on that page that, you know, I wanted to um, have marked and stuff like that. And I haven't read it all yet, but she has a lot of tips on like soil and stuff because I, it, you know, I've only been doing this for a very short time. And then the times that I have been doing it, I wasn't really focused on it and really wasn't, you know, actually trying but I really want to try and make sure that I have the best soil and stuff like that so my plants can survive and not die and stuff like that. Last year I had a lot of luck in the summertime with my tomatoes and peppers. But, you know, you can always do better and you can always learn more. Um, even seasoned gardeners, you know, they can always learn more. There's always something else out there that you can learn more about. Um, and also then I wanted to get all the heirloom tomatoes and stuff like that and all the cool stuff and all the colorful stuff. But, you know, since the world is changing a lot, I want to be focused more on, you know, saving, fam saving food for my family and canning things and 
things of that sort just so I can have that and I don't have to be worried or stressed you know and I'm not gonna be hoarding a whole bunch of food or having all this food but I will be having stuff up for my family and I'll be saving seeds so I don't have to worry about the stores you know going there and they don't have any more seeds that I can grow so that's another big thing is try to save your seeds so that you can have those things so that you don't have to rely on a store to get that because you never know when it will end um, and then my goal is to within the next couple of years I want to be searching out places to, to buy land I don't know exactly where that will be yet me and my husband are still trying to see where we want that to be but um, I will be keeping an eye out on land even if it's just a couple of acres of land with nothing on it that's okay because then I can go in like every year or every so often and start clearing things and then put it but build a house or put a modular home on it or something just something that you know my family can be on and have the things we need because eventually I want chickens for laying eggs I want chickens to harvest their meat and I would like a pig once a year or so so I can have the meat um, I don't think I would have enough acres for a cow um, it, but if I do find out that I do then I would love a cow for dairy um, milk make butter and cheese and stuff like that just because um, that's something I like to do I love being in the kitchen and I love um, you know just spending time in there and trying to teach my kids different things about the kitchen and um, what you can make in the kitchen and stuff like that and it's really good bonding time with them as well but the kitchen is my happy place that's where I go to relieve stress and stuff like that um, I don't have very many hobbies but the ones I do you know it's really the kitchen and I like making homemade stuff and things like that Another thing you can do um, is make breads, freeze breads, freeze dough. I made some pizza dough the other day, and I froze that as well. Um, it's just really easy and simple to do. Um, my mother-in-law let me borrow her um, bread machine, and it was super fast. I didn't have to do much, and it, you know, did it all on its own. So I was really thankful for that, and it didn't take any time to do at all. Um, but what I just encourage you to do is just try to be thinking about different things that you can do just in case there's no more food left in the stores. Like what can you do um, with your family that, you know, you will be able to survive if you really needed to. Um, I'm not saying go out and panic and, you know, stress about it or anything like that, but just be aware and be aware of the things that are going on in the world and um, stuff like that just in case you know the last thing we want to do is be in a bind where we don't have anything and everybody is you know um, not doing well because there's no more food in the um, stores so just be thinking about that and again please don't forget to like and subscribe to this um, channel I would really appreciate it I'm new at this and I'm really trying and I just really want to document things so for um, a year or two from now Whenever I do get my land and stuff, I can see where I was and see the things that I was doing back then compared to now and see the growth that um, I'll be able to share with you guys and things like that. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.